this video, I'll be breaking down my experience doing the 30 day challenge. If you guys don't know what challenge I did, I'll put up a photo here of what it consisted like. I'm also going to answer some questions that a lot of you had sent in and give you some tips and advice on if you guys want to do this challenge yourself. So the number one question I got, what was the hardest part? And for me personally, I did half the things already that so I would work out five days a week. If anyone knows me, I drink this much water. It's like two liters, two and a half liters. And I drink around three of them a day. So water wasn't really an issue for me. I read and meditate every day so that's fine but the hardest part for me was going for the second run or going for the second workout not because of a workout itself but i just didn't run before i used to go on walks every day so having to go for a run every single day was a bit draining so that was probably the hardest part and the other hard part even though it took like 10 seconds was just recording myself just having to know in the back of my head oh i've got to record this and thinking about it now probably just recording myself at the gym because obviously it's uncomfortable and you don't want to seem like that dickhead that records themselves but luckily my gym is like not so busy and i didn't have a tripod i didn't bring a tripod with me in the gym so it was fine i just put it on the floor whatever a couple days into the challenge i started to get like overwhelmed with like oh shit I've got another three weeks of doing this, but I just reminded myself just to focus on today, get everything done today. You can worry about tomorrow when it comes. The best part of the challenge was when I went to the gym, I would only train body parts that I liked, like fuck doing legs. So I would just do push, pull, push, pull, push, pull for 30 days, which was good because those are the body parts I enjoy training. And the other good part was not waking up drunk or hungover on the weekends and actually feeling like I had a productive day. What I would do differently, I would stretch my calves because the past three weeks, my calves have been killing me. My left leg was sore for like a week or two halfway through the challenge. So I would, I would definitely stretch my calves or at least stretch my lower body. And here are some questions that some of you sent in. So what was the toughest day? And I also added what helped me get through tough times when they were tough. I wouldn't say there was a specific day that it was the toughest. Some days were obviously harder than others. And at the start, you get super excited. You're like, oh yes, I'm gonna do this challenge. And then you realize how tough it is, like after a couple of days and all the motivation, the initial motivation wears off. And then you stay, you stay like this because you just get used to it for a while. And then in the last week, you just your energy just goes up because you're keen to finish this challenge. And what helped me get through the tough times was the accountability from posting it online. I didn't wanna seem like a bitch and quitting in front of you guys. Also the messages that some of you sent me was like very motivating knowing that like it's motivating to see me doing it or me inspiring them to like better their life was cool was nice which about helped me get through it the next question is will i continue to practice the basic structure of a routine outside of a challenge as i said before i pretty much already did half of things before i'm probably not going to be recording myself and whatever i do every single day now and instead of the second workout i'm probably just going to go for a walk which i did anyway probably not 45 minutes but probably just like a lap around the block the next question is did it make you more productive creative and help in any other ways with music creation i guess since i had a routine which i'll put up here this is my daily routine that i followed it made me more productive i guess because now i had a routine like okay at 10 o'clock i've got to do this at two o'clock i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go for my run i kind of changed it up towards the end but it followed that structure creativity not really i, I, didn't, I didn't see any tangible or intangible results from the challenge with my creativity but that could just be me the next question is what did you do to get out of your comfort zone when you were too lazy to try this i kind of answered this before when what helped me get through the tough times but i realized it was bigger than me if i give up one i give it up on myself but two i look like a bitch and i give up in front of everyone else i really didn't want to do that and what i did was just to do it like going for the run was hard some days obviously some days it was raining but just getting started was the hardest part but once you're once you get going you realize like 10 minutes into your run or 20 minutes into your run you're here you might as well just keep doing it so starting is the hardest part some helpful tips that i could give you guys if you guys are going to do a challenge similar is to have a routine okay 6 a.m i'm going to wake up here 9 a.m i'm going to do this obviously everyone's schedule is different you might have school you might have a nine to five whatever but just figure out a schedule that works for you next is to do stuff you like so for me i went running every day but if you prefer to do yoga outside if you prefer to do boxing outside do that if you don't like doing weights at the gym but you prefer doing the stair master for 45 minutes do that whatever is going to keep you consistent another tip is to do it with friends because they're going to one be able to keep you accountable until you just have a buddy to do it with another tip that i've briefly mentioned before is to just take it one day at a time because if you look at the whole 30 days oh wow that's a lot it's going to be overwhelming and you're probably just not want to do it but if you just take it one day at a time and just be like okay all i need to do is just do this this and this today and i'll be sweet another tip i can give you is to have a consequence if you lose like say i'll give my friend 500 dollars if i lose because if you don't have any downside then there's no risk in doing it and therefore you're just going to be like okay well i don't need to do this and then just give up and for me my consequence was posting it online and i guess if i quit in front of all of you then i would just seem like a bitch and so i didn't want that to happen so that was my consequence 
And I'd recommend starting off with a month because a month is not too short and it's not too long. And at the end of a month, you can always just extend it anyway and go for however long you want. And don't expect it to be smooth sailing or easy because it's not going to be either of them. Life is going to get in the way and you will have to make sacrifices. You might have to wake up earlier to get your first workout or second workout in or something might come up during your day that'll mess up your routine. Like I had a bunch of last minute sessions or plans. And so some days I had to do like two workouts before 12 p.m but you gotta do what you gotta do. And another piece of advice is, it's gonna be hard, but hard times create strong men, which is a quote that I like. And the last question I got submitted, which many people wanna find out is, how big is your meat? Let's just say I'm 6'2", and that's two separate measurements. But if you had any other questions, you can just DM me. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have on the challenge, or if you guys want some more advice or whatnot. But yeah, peace.